Hi everyone, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So today I am come up with another interview experience of Infosys of a non CSIT student. So the name of the candidate is Pawan and he is from mechanical branch and he cleared the interview for the role of systems engineer with a package of 3.6 lakh per annum and his written exam date was 23rd January 2022 and then his interview was scheduled on the 11th March 2022. Now let's see what are the things he mentioned in his resume. So he mentioned Python and C which are the programming languages and he also mentioned AutoCAD and SolidWorks which are the software he used in his branch related project. So now let's see what were the question interviewer asked him. So as usual first thing interviewer asked him to show his ID proof. So guys you can use your college ID or Aadhaar card as your ID proof. And the next question interviewer asked him was tell me about yourself. So guys this is very common question almost every interviewer asked this question. And in my previous videos I have already explained this question so you can watch out that video and the link of the video in the description box. So the next question was explain oops concept or object oriented programming system concept with real world example. So here you have to explain all the six major concept which are object class encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism so you should prepare the definition of this concept with the real world example and please prepare this question very well because 90% interviewer asked this question now let's see the next question which is what are the data type in c so here you can tell the name of the data types like you can tell int care float long and so on So the next question was what is malloc and calloc function and this is important question which i have already covered in the previous video so please check out the video link in the description box and guys if you are a student or working professional and want to prepare for the placement or want to learn new technology then coding ninja is one of the best platform where you will get different courses like c c++ python ml ai and so on And these courses are designed and developed by the engineer of Facebook, Amazon and Stanford University. And guys, one best thing is that you can get these premium courses for free just by clearing Coding Ninja scholarship test. And along with this 100% scholarship, you will get some other benefits like a free coding book which is worth rupees 1500 and one industrial training certificate and also some free course goodies. So guys note down the date of the test which is 22nd and 23rd March 2022 and in case if you are not able to attend the test on the 22nd March then you can also attend the same test on the 23rd March and the time for the test is 9 pm to 10 pm and guys test will be contain only 30 aptitude question with no negative marking and also the test fees is very pocket friendly which is rupees 99 and by applying the code 50 you will get 50% discount so guys don't wait and enroll now and i will provide the coupon code and the registration link in the description box so let's continue with our previous discussion now let's see the next question which is what is the difference between c and python so these are some differences so you can mention two or three differences between c and python in your interview For example you can say like C is procedure oriented programming language while python is object oriented programming language so in this way you can mention the differences so the next question is what is the difference between tuple and list in python so here are some differences so you can say list are mutable while tuples are immutable and list consumes more time while tuple is comparatively fast and so on So in this way you can answer this question. So the next question interviewer asked him was what are the types of inheritance? So in Python there are five types of inheritance which are single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance. And I would suggest you to prepare the definition of all type of inheritance with the example. Now the next question interviewer asked him was what is array? So in answer of this question you can say like an array is a collection of similar type of data elements stored at contiguous memory locations array is the simplest data structure where each data element can be accessed directly by using its index number so in this way you can answer this question so the next question is what is the difference between c and c++ 
सो गाइज आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वीडियो ऑन इट सो यू कैन चेक आउट द वीडियो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो गाइज एज यू कैन सी टिल नाउ द इंटरव्यूअर आज डीम द क्वेश्चन ओनली फ्रॉम सी एंड पाइथन बिकॉज ही मैंशन दिस लैंग्वेज इज इन हिज रिज्यूम है सो गाइज आई ऑलवेज टेल यू दैट यू शुड मैंशन ओनली दो थिंग्स इन योर रिज्यूम है विच यू रियली नो सो नाउ लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज वॉट डू यू मीन बाई डी बी एम एस और वॉट इज डी बी एम एस सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन से लाइक द सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज यूज टू मैनेज डेटा बेस इज कॉल्ड डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और डी बी एम एस फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई स्क्वेल और एगल एंड एक्सेट्रा आफ्टर दिस द इंटरव्यूअर आस्ट हिम वॉट आर द क्वेरी लैंग्वेजेस इन डी बी एम एस सो गाइज आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक आउट दैट वीडियो सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर आस्ट हिम वॉज वॉट इज द पेलिंड्रोम नंबर सो इट्स वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन सो अ पेलिंड्रोम नंबर इज अ नंबर विच रिमेन सेम वेन इट्स डिज इट्स रिवर्स्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल फोर फिफ्टी फोर ट्वेंटी टू और ट्रिपल नाइन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर आज टीम वॉज आफ्टर फाइव ईयर वेर डू यू वॉन्ट टू सी योर सेल्फ सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज कीप दिस पॉइंट इन योर माइंड सो फर्स्ट इज यू शुड हैव अ क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट योर गोल आफ्टर दिस फाइंड अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन योर गोल इन द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन and while answering always focus on the skills you want to learn and never be so specific about any job title like don't say after 5 year i want to become a manager of my team this will be wrong answer and also never say i want your job or i don't know its answer right now this will create a wrong impression on the interviewer so here is one example so you can say like as a fresher i look forward to learning new things and improving my knowledge In five years, I want to see my career developing with your organization. I plan to do so by completing lots of training development courses and by working on a challenging projects, which will enhance my skills and want to be a valuable asset for the organization. So this is how you can beautifully answer this question. And in the last, the interviewer asked him, "Do you have any question for me?" So guys, don't miss this opportunity. because most of the candidates say no i don't have any question but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask If I selected for the role then what could I do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question so guys that's all about today's video i hope this video will help you in your interview preparation and if any of my video helps you for getting selected then please drop a comment in the comment box it will motivate me a lot to upload more videos so guys please share this video and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching